right then, friends. Let's get our hands on those pliers, shall we? Hold one pair of pliers comfortably in each hand with the jaws by your thumbs. You can see that my most comfortable position is not exactly centered. I've got my dominant right hand fully closed around the handles, and for whatever reason, my left thumb insists on resting right by the jaws. With practice, you will find the most comfortable position for you. To begin, it is important for you to know that the fastest way to destroy a jump ring is to pull the ring ends apart. It damages the integrity of its shape, and as you can see here, once I've separated the ring ends, it's difficult for me to form it back into its original shape. That said, when opening jump rings, always twist them open. So, to open a jump ring, the best place to hold for leverage is around 1 or 2 o'clock with your right hand and 10 or 11 o'clock with your left. Keeping a firm hold on both pliers, twist the right pliers towards you and the left pliers away from you. To close a jump ring, Hold the jump ring firmly with both pliers. Now remember, we've got the left plier between 10 and 11 and the right plier between 1 and 2. Twist the right pliers away from you and the left pliers towards you. This will bring the ring ends very close together. To completely close the space between the ring ends, gently move them past each other front to back a couple of times to bring them flush. You can visualize two swinging doors coming to rest. Repeat opening and closing a jump ring until you feel comfortable with the progression. While you practice, pay attention to how much pressure is required to bend the ring. Ideally, you will want to apply enough, but just the bare minimum amount of pressure to avoid marking or scratching the metal or the coating. Make sure the placement of your pliers is such that the jaws do not have contact with the jaws of the other pliers. And just a couple of tips for future reference. First of all, it's much easier to pick up jump rings on a padded surface as opposed to a solid surface. And second, using a solid color background will make it much easier to see rings, especially smaller rings, while you're working quickly. This will get easier and easier the more you do it. Don't forget, I'm here to help you. So please feel free to ask me any questions on the interactive Q&A board. Go, go, go!